But suddenly, Justin Trudeau has the power to crush all political opposition to his rule, and that's exactly what he's doing. Trudeau has ended free speech in Canada. He's banned free assembly. Trudeau's government has shut down political rallies and arrested his political critics without probable cause. Trudeau has instituted internal passports that restrict travel within Canada to the politically obedient. Canadians are no longer allowed to leave their own country unless they obey Justin Trudeau. And if they don't obey, they could be bankrupted and destroyed. He now has the power to do that. Trudeau has claimed the power to freeze the financial assets of any Canadian who resists him. No court order is required to do this. He just decides. Justin Trudeau can even dictate what you do for a living and how you do it. Today, Trudeau threatened to arrest tow truck drivers who refused to tow the trucks of protesters. Is this really about stopping the spread of coronavirus? No one in Canada is even pretending that it is anymore. Trudeau himself didn't mention the risk of COVID a single time yesterday. He's not worried about unvaccinated truckers spreading a virus. Trudeau is worried about Canadians resisting his rule. This shit is important because the stuff you see happening right now in Canada, that little clip that I just showed, um, Justin Trudeau enacting all of these additional powers to freeze the bank accounts of people who are protesting. Keep in mind, 90% of the protesters are vaccinated. Okay, so you're freezing the bank account of people who are pro-vaccine. They, they think vaccines are good and that people should have them. They're just against you mandating the requirement of them. Okay, so be very, very clear that you're actively punishing people who are on your side and think vaccines are a good thing. The majority of the people that you're punishing are people who agree with you. Anyway, that aside, I mean, Tucker hit the nail on the head. He sat there and went down the list of very basic rights, such as the ability to move. Like, let's just say I'm unhappy in Oregon and I want to move to Alabama. Well, in a world where Trudeau or what's trying to happen in America, that level of authoritarianism, soon you don't get that option anymore. If the government thinks that you're doing something that contradicts what they want you to be doing, then sorry, you don't get to move. You definitely don't get to leave the country and just go choose like, well, you know, if I'm not happy here and I don't like the way the government works, maybe I should go somewhere else. They don't even give you that option. You can't leave the country. You can't leave the state. So does that sound, does that sound like a free place to you? Like, just that alone should disturb you greatly. And then the fact that, listen to this, even the people who aren't at the protest, if you have liked a comment about the protest online... This is just some information about peaceful protests. That's all it is. Okay, so you saw something on my Facebook and decided to come to my personal residence to give me information about peaceful protests? Yes. Um, are you guys now monitoring people's Facebook pages? Just like because of the protests happening province wide, yes, we have been monitoring the protests. Okay. So there's a protest coming up. I'm simply providing you with information about a peaceful like, protest. Do you not know what we fought a world war? What we fought two <laughs> world wars over? Do you seriously not understand how important free speech and individual freedoms are? Like, how do you as an American, did you just not pay attention whatsoever in your entire education of U.S. history or world history? As soon as a virus that was contagious came around, you just took all of that knowledge and all of the dangers associated with not following that knowledge, put it all in the trash can and said, well, we might see 0.001% more deaths this year due to a particularly nasty virus going around. Yeah, that's totally worth, you know, living under a complete fucking dictatorship for. Like, you have no idea how bad this gets. Like, go watch a documentary about Nazi Germany. It's, I, I, I'm baffled that people don't get this.